Hey guys, it's 6.30 p.m. on Friday, August the 4th, and we're back here with Spy Fox Operation Ozone. What's the last thing we'd- oh, we got that, um, code cracker. I was like, yes, we got the code cracker and we're ready to have the code cracked. I don't remember this guy from my last couple of playthroughs. Because, let's see, I've only played this game through all the way twice, so that's only two possible paths through this game. So, it's still possible for me to be surprised. So let's use this code cracker on her. It's the Cosmetic Counter Code Phrase Compact. Salt and pepper sprinkle cream. Make a dish foundation. Oh gosh, that's terrible. Dixie's flaming lip gloss. Dixie's, I don't get it. Pink hoochie poochie shadow. <laughs> hoochie poochie, that sounds... Blue powdered pussycat shadow. All of these sound untoward. Corinthian wrinkles be gone. That just cream. sounds biblical. White pants face powder. Pants free powder. Oh no. Minty green loot cream. What's a loot cream? So, wait a second. And then what's what's this? It's the ingredient list. Oh for right. I need the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. White pants face powder. Hmm. That sounds like some kind of code phrase. Okay. White pants face powder. I'm sure this cosmetic counter coat. Yes, it does. Corinthian blue powdered pussed salt and pepper pink hoochie. Can you shut up? A dish, a dish shut. Blue powder, uh, okay, there we white go. White pants face powder. Yeah, of course, it's the Pressing white one. Pressing that button access the counter code phrase. Hang on the backyard line. Hang on the backyard line. Yeah. Hang on the backyard line. Here's the amulet. Be careful, I wow. can't fall into the wrong hands. You're acting autistic. You Don't got worry, that wolf I'll in you. I'll carry it in my right hand. I, yeah. Remember, you'll need the hieroglyph code as well as the amulet. Understand that I don't have anything against right. autistic people. It's been very interesting talking and to you. And my dad You're works have a nice day. at a school professionally with, um, where there are kids on the spectrum and they have uh, professional counselors there working with them. But like, I've just seen so many memes about like, got that dog in me and got that wolf in me. And then like the cringe content with like people who are furries and then they start like acting like wolves. And I've just seen so much of that content. Never mind. We're getting into very dangerous territory with this conversation and now we're finally ready to enter the Mayan temple of doom because it's Indiana Jones clearly it's the temple from we fit plus that's what it is and uh wh why are you go the amulet work why are you going I'm in there again? like swimwear you're in there like swimwear why does these have these lights like a film set it's like are you filming are you filming the next Broken Sword game here? No missing ancient amulet or mythic hieroglyph code can keep this spy out for long. Now oh. to find that chickle. I remember what I have to do here, and it's not just timing. Those metal monsters look like they could make mincemeat out of me. Yeah, well, it looks like nothing compared to the ship in Rusty Bucket Bay and Banjo-Kazooie. Still not sure what the, um, invisible to ducks hat is does, but I still find that absolutely hilarious. Invisible to ducks always makes me think sensitive to bees. And I'm very sensitive to bees. It, which one is it? The canned laughter. It's not that one, but I'll take it anyway. Here we go. The spy rust buster. It doesn't bust rust. It it uses rust to bust. <laughs> Frogger the great great quest. Find me a princess before I bust. Ah. Like I know that was a um 
I think bust was is like an old timey slang for like nothing. Shot, but I've got the edge. Because I know hitchhikers used to say stuff like California quest, or bust. Um. Quack's instant oxidizer literally busted it's those the wind with sound effect from um. Well, Pajama Sam 2, I found Thunder and Lightning, Thunder, it appears Thunder and to be Frightening. In by that, gate. Well, with a little creative problem solving, I'll have that that is no a lot of bubble gum. I remember I was, uh, my girlfriend and I went to a store that had something about Chickle and something about Prickly Pear, and I immediately thought of this game, so I asked, like, the guy at the store, and he's like, well, I work with computers, but I don't know computer games. Oh, this is, this is where we use the toaster, okay. Alright, get ready to jump. Looks like I'm gonna have to jump. I'm if so bad at doing a strong bad toaster, voice. I would never be placing More anything like, other than a piece of bread into it. Strong bad. But emails are like hot pockets. I am a spy, so here goes. Looks like I'm gonna have to jump. Hey, strong sad. That's like my, my best strong bad voice. I have my piece of chickle. It takes more than an ancient civilization to outwit spy. Uh-oh. And now we're doing the Indiana Jones thing. Oh my god, famous movie. Nice. C can you do that in a white tux? I do really like the white tux. It makes me wish I could I could pull off a white tux. Maybe I could. That was close. But I got out of I'm that just tickle with the chickle. A little Show heavy set. Poodles galore. So I feel like, oh, could I really pull off a could I really pull off a orbiting high Oh, okay, we get a cutscene. In only a matter of hours, my special blend of aerosol my special blend. Will have completely destroyed the ozone. The sun will then beat relentlessly down upon the earth. I mean that's already happening. <laughs> Yeah, that that hits too close All to home because it's August in New York Total City. SPF I don't want cayenne in my sunscreen. That sounds terrible. Of the world. <laughs> so yes, she is destroying the ozone oh, so I'm she can sell die. sunscreen and take over the world. That's the that's the muted trumpet sound effect from Rayman. That, it's that one Rayman level where, like, the little mosquitoes, like, blow you across the really tiny platforms, but the mosquitoes have, like, trumpets for, uh, for, instead of, not beaks, I was about to say beaks. Birds have beaks, mosquitoes have, I want to say proboscises, but that doesn't sound right either. I want to say mandibles, but that's what spiders have. I want to say mouthpieces, but that's what trumpets have, so now I'm doubly confused, triply confused, even. Um, Mr. Plato Pushpin, here's my... Oh, it's not a re he's not a reference to Pushkin, like the Russian playwright, is he? I just realized that. He might be a reference to Pushkin. Now, all I need is... A prickly pear pizza from the pizza shop. Mmm, delicious! A freshwater pearl found only in the oysters of the lake. The APD, or aerosol particle diameter number from the orbiting aerosol canids. Okay, got it, Professor. Hate to cut you off, but I'm gonna cut you off anyway. Um, I'm gonna let you finish. Never mind. Um... Heather Lake. Avast, matey! I need a ride out to the Pearl Farm. The fate of the world depends on it. Empire State Building? Won't find that around here. That fisherman didn't understand a word I said. I bet he could hear me better if I had something to project my voice with. Something... What did he say about Estates Building? 
Something to project your voice with. Not the canned laughter. The canned laughter won't do me any No, good, I man. didn't think so. Where do I use the canned laughter? I'm not sure I remember. Um, time to go back and look at what other spy gadgets we have. We have, um... That's funny. The spy pearl detector. Spy pearl detector. What does this okay. gadget do, Professor Quack? Oh, wait use a second. Use it on a bed of oysters. Okay, yeah, use it to find a pearl. Got it. Pearl, an extraordinary origin story. Okay, so we want this kid's, um, megaphone. That's a great megaphone. Thanks! I use it to shout at potential customers because I can be hard to hear! I like how what her hat is just floating. Customers? It's not... Cookie buyers. It's not, uh, attached to her head at all. I only have to sell three Same with her ears. of cookies to get an official Cookie Scout stunt bike. Completely tricked out with foot pegs. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's wow, amazing, actually. That sounds pretty neat. Are you a potential customer? I no, sure am. I'm a spy. I love but how I square her body is, too. So you it's a very cool design. Then you won't have to yell through that megaphone anymore. So I have to give her a Thanks, Mr. bike? Spy. What did she just get? No some problem. books? Why I remember with now get spelling. What? Okay, she just gave me books? No, cookies. I can't use that there. What do I do get your official cookie scout cookies right here, folks? Go crack ready for everybody! I bet if you try just one dill pickle drop, you won't be able to stop. You need to find some real customers. So make like a banana and split. Wait, I missed what flavors these were. Can I interest you in some luscious lemon listies? What are you kidding? I'm so luscious not buying. Lemon Look listies. She, he said something about dill pickle. And what was this one? Would you like to buy some honey baked beet biscuits cooked? Honey baked beet biscuit. Oh, I know who likes beets. Beets, bears, Battlestar Galactica. There's going to be a wait, 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 wrong location. Wrong location. Hold up, wait a minute. You like beets, don't you? Wait, that's that's from the first game now. Would you like to buy some honey baked beet biscuits? Honey baked beet biscuits from the Cookie Scouts. The one and only. Well, she likes honey in this I'll game. Buy a box. And she There's likes no beets in the first game, or at goodness. least sells beets. I can't stand it. Sorry, I talked over whatever dialogue she has, but that's the that's the thing. Do you, do you uh, do you commentate or do you uh, or do you be silent so you can hear the dialogue, or do you commentate and risk talking over um, heavy? We should probably talk to you about prickly pear. Would you business. happen to know where I could find a prickly pear? Sure, you can get a prickly pear right next door at the Prickly Pear Ranch. They only allow beekeepers in, though. Thanks, Bee. You always have the most informative All right. information. Sure thing, honey. Good and, luck getting up. And the special pear. sauce that They're puts alligators to sleep. And whatever you did in the second game. Can I borrow your beekeeper hat? Why do you want to borrow my beekeeper hat? You never know when a beekeeper disguise might come in handy. Well, I don't know. I don't want to be a party to any malicious mischief. Not to worry. I'm a certified good guy spy, and will use it only in the process of saving the world. Yeah. Okay, if it'll help save the world. Here you go. Okay, that was easy. It wasn't like a Thanks, quid B. pro quo exchange. Oh boy. I hoped I would never... The amount of times I've heard that expression, it's like one of those things you only learn against your will. It's like, I only learned who um, Steve Rambo was against my will. Good old Bees Steve Rambo. Hat fits perfectly. Johnny Sins. No. Awesome. 
Oh, awesome harmonica that music. That was no match for my clever beekeeper disguise. She really wasn't. Uh. It's vital to my mission to get a prickly pear. This one should be good on pizza. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Yow! That I looks painful. I wonder if they de-prickle these before they go on the pizza. Cool, so now we have a prickly pear. Um, there, is there something about- The river is carrying that board with it downstream. Yeah, is there something I need to do with that? Like, divert the flow of the, the grand Machu Picchu Cassandra. The water into this calm little reservoir. Cause do, don't I need a board for something? Oh, I went in there. I diverted the river into this nice calm reservoir. Oh wait. I bet there's something that I can only get if I float it down the river. But that's besides the point. Or beside the point. Uh, can I sell you my cookies? I bet if you try just one dill pickle drop, you won't be able to stop. No thanks. Those make me itch. All right, let's go back to ah, the Mayan temple. It. Rat movie, mystery of the Mayan treasure. What flavor would you like, Miss College student, Miss PhD student? I figured as much. Would you like to buy some luscious lemon listies? No, thank you. I prefer something crunchier. Oh, like the pickle flavor. Pickles are crunchy. Would you like to buy a yummy box of dill pickle drops? No thanks. I like cookies with more crunch. But those are the only two we have after we already sold the beet. Beets, bears, Battlestar Galactica one. Here's where my notes go. I use the... T uh... Also, uh, the music was going bom ba da and it made me think of the monsters. If that matters to anyone. Oh, this girl likes pickles. That's our hint, duh. <laughs> I love the random piano slams. Would you like to buy a yummy box of dill pickle I love pickle dissonant drops? music. They're delicious. You got dill pickle drops? They're all so vinegary. I'll take them. Yay! She looks happy. She sounds happy. I'm sure she might be happy. goodness will be very happy. Very happy together. I can't see me living nobody but a loving nobody but you for all my life. Bom 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 Oh, and then th this guy loves lemons. Oh, that's so cool. They give you like a little hint. So they have, they put honey next to the bear. They put uh, pickles next to the crazy raccoon. And then they put lemons next to this guy, the dog. Can I interest you in some luscious lemon That's listies? a cool way to... Luscious lemon listies. Um, sure, I'll take a box. That's a cool it's like, hint. It's amazing how they get such a lemony flavor without using any lemons. On behalf of the Cookie Scouts, thanks, Sport. You're welcome. <laughs> I like how they show his mouth like puckering or whatever. Wow. So that was uh, some invigorating Same. progress on this here video game. And I hope you have a lovely day and a lovely life. And a, lo a lovely wife. This is not my beautiful house.